I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get pictures of flour. Would you put it in your hair? Oh, sorry, you don't have it. I do have hair. We had the hairdresser in, didn't we? I thought you said you wanted to have to be shaved and cropped for this. Could you look in the camera, please? Well, that's quite nice, actually. That could, I, think we've, I think we've just cracked the album cover of the, the new the EP. The follow up. Yeah. Okay, put it down there. I'm fine. Was it You're oh, a bit dictatorial, it? aren't you? I'm a director. You're a, you're a dictatorial director. Who are you calling a dick? No, I didn't say that's crude. That's crude and unnecessary. And I'm looking at the camera even though you're pointing at something else. No, I'm just doing a bit of interesting framing. I keep taking up your top tips, look at the camera, but how can I look at the camera if you're pointing it away? Have I got any spinach in my teeth? We've got 13 minutes left, by the way, okay. so we'll to use it well. Can talk about my teeth? Or... Okay, well ask me a question. Ask me a serious question. Um... Why do you make music? It's a laugh, isn't it? Your music, I mean, you know, your music is, would you call your music serious? I don't call it anything. No. It doesn't answer to any name. Do you find it hard, do you find making music a, a, a joyous or a painful process? Playing is joyous. Playing is joyous. Writing music has sort of little kind of pockets of euphoria and then a lot of pain. A lot of painful uh, crystallizing, shaping. Editing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty painful because I'm not I'm not really like that as a person. That goes right against my character. I'm very kind of um, immediate and I like things. I have very quick ideas and I want things done very fast. Yes. And then the idea that you suddenly got to go over and over and over something and refine it and perfect it is sort of the opposite side of what what I'm like. But why? Well, that's why it's painful. Yeah. Although that's your choice to be uh, to go over it and to be a perfectionist, isn't it? It's your choice to to to, to make something that is as finished as you want to do. Well, if you <coughs> yes and no. I mean, if you if you're playing something, then it's. In, in that moment, it's, it's just a performance. And it's, you've, play, you've played it and it's gone. If you're writing something, you're writing something that's going to last, and you're, you're writing something that you want to sound as you want it to sound every single time you hear it or it's played. So you, in a sense, have to have a different approach. Right. So to be a composer, I suppose, would require you to do that. It's got to be the same for film, surely. You just don't think of an idea and you film it. You've got to think about, unlike, unlike with me, you've got to think about angles and um, profiles. Well, because you are both composer and player, creator, you know, in a sense that the person who has to decide that this is ready, it's finished, is you. Yeah. That, is that difficult sometimes to know when it's finished? Yeah. That's quite a that's quite an art in itself to stop. But I'm, I'm actually quite good at that. I think because what I what I've devised now is a method where I just say I'm going to finish this by, and I set myself an arbitrary date. And uh, and I make sure <clears throat> I make sure that I do it, and I do. Even even sometimes when I think, well, you know, a couple of months later I could go back, I won't. Because I think you have to take a you have to take a view that that's where you are now in this moment in time. And otherwise, you just end up remaking the same thing forever. Mm. I think that's called Brian Ferry, isn't it? Yeah. The Rolling Stones. I auditioned uh, 
I went back to your casting couch. Yeah, what well, <laughs> uh, I auditioned uh, Mick Jagger's son today. Did you? Yeah. James. Yeah. He you met him. Not, not uh, directly, but um, a film that he's involved in. Oh. Something to do with the Princess Trust. Right. Um, a movie, or a yeah. story. A movie, yeah. a full-length movie. He's he's involved with, and I'm um, allegedly um, writing the uh, film score oh. for that. There is cool. I've forgotten the title, actually. But his mother's in it as well, doing okay. a cameo role. Mother being uh, Jerry. Jerry Hall. Yeah. Very nice bloke. Very, actually, very nice bloke. Jerry Hall's a woman. He's a very nice bloke. Jerry Hall's a nice bloke and a nice woman. Jerry, well, he's called Jerry. He's obviously a bloke. Jerry. Isn't it? Jerry. Well, it's quite an androgynous name. Andro Young Andro Jagger. Androgynous Jagger name. Junior. Is a Why are you name dropping? Why are you name dropping? I don't know. This was, wasn't there something you said? You're feeling inferior. You said it something you're that feeling... made me think. No, don't sm start making it like that. Okay. okay? I'll be fluffy again. I'll be all nice and fluffy. Something you said that made me think about him. Why did you? There was something you said. Phil. Jagger. Why did I say Jagger? I said the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Did you say Rolling Stones? I did say Rolling Stones. <laughs> so what's it? So that's not name dropping. That's just picking up. You, you do do this for a living, don't you? No, I don't actually. No. I, make dra I do drama. You actually work Fiction. in Pizza Express, don't you? That's what I'm beginning to I don't deal with fact. No, you're telling me. Well, no, neither do you. No, you I don't <laughs> buy this interview. You're so cruel, you know that. For one so old. You're so cruel, you know? You're so old for one so cruel. No, you're so cruel for one so old. Yeah.